There's one thing I know about every single person in this room. You all started life out as a baby. And I can tell you that your health today has a lot to do with that baby version of you. More specifically, the environment that that child interacted with every day. Because our health is largely not based on genetics, but on exposures like nutrition and stress that affect our body's development. Organ development continues long after birth, especially over the first two years of life. Luckily, we usually have a lot of support, and I'm talking about more than a community of family members, a community in the trillions, the human microbiota. The microbiota is a massive collective of microbes, mainly bacteria, that are with us from our first to our last breath. They come from our moms at birth, as well as anything our mouth touches, skin, breast milk, toys, you name it. Most of the bacteria live in our guts, and they help us digest food and fight off infection. But their first job is to help our bodies with those very systems that are still developing after birth, our metabolic, immune, and nervous systems. In fact, disrupting this bacterial community leads to much higher risks of diseases like obesity and diabetes. Unfortunately, disruptions happen fairly frequently. Over 40% of new moms and 70% of children receive antibiotics before their second birthday. While these are essential life-saving drugs, they make it really tough for that gut bacteria to thrive. In my research, I use a special fiber called a prebiotic. When consumed, the prebiotic gives the gut bacteria the support it needs to outlast an onslaught of antibiotics. In my work with rats, I gave pregnant and lactating moms antibiotics with or without the prebiotic. I wanted to see how the prebiotic could diminish the disrupting effects of antibiotics on the mom's gut and milk microbiota. Breast milk is really important because it contains its own community of bacteria that can maintain or even change the pup's initial microbiota. I found that moms receiving antibiotics gave their pups bacteria that hindered their metabolism. These pups were heavier, they ate more, and they absorbed more fat from their food than pups whose moms received prebiotics. On the other hand, moms receiving prebiotics had many more beneficial bacteria in their milk that could protect the pup from obesity. Prebiotics are a simple, inexpensive solution to help moms and babies in need of antibiotics. My hope is to see clinical trials using this foundational research to support children's early life development, because communities of family and bacteria are key to lifelong health.